Hey everybody, I hope everyone's doing good out there and keeping yourself safe. Wanna give you a quick little video and show you something. So this right here was my very first firearm. Just so you guys can know, I bought this firearm and I still have the receipt. Look at the time and day when I bought it. So I bought the firearm 14 years ago and this is the MMP40 when they first started coming out. Now, originally, I didn't intend to buy this gun. What happened was I wanted to buy a Glock, but the Glock was about $90 more. And back then, when I was a younger person, I didn't have the money or make the money that I make now. And so that $90 difference stopped me from buying the Glock and I settled for this one. So this is the 40 caliber. This one has no safety on it. I always tell people, when you're in the market to buying a gun, I always like to personally recommend guns that don't have any safety. I just don't really like the safety. I find it as something that gets in the way in case you ever need to uh, use the gun. Now, the cool thing about this gun is this. On some channels, people will do good reviews and bad reviews on firearms. Um, I have the only firearm that I don't really like that much is my... Springfield XDS which is my carry gun is chambered in 45 and honestly the only reason why I don't like it that much is only because when you go like this to eject the round you have to actually go really hard otherwise it doesn't eject the round and aside from that it's not a bad gun it's never jammed the same concept with this one it's never jammed uh, every every piece in here is actually original the only wear and tear I have is right up there so the reason why i'm showing you this gun is because this is my first firearm ever it's 14 years old but if you take care of your weapons i mean look at the condition that this one is in for a gun that's 14 years old and i have put rounds and rounds and rounds through this gun and till today this gun still has never had a misfire or a jam and i've never had to replace any piece on the inside of this gun as a matter of fact, I'm going to take the gun apart and I'm going to show you what the inside looks like. So if you are in the market looking for a firearm, the whole point of this is please don't stress yourself out and spend a ridiculous amount of money. You know, uh, 450 bucks, 490 bucks, 520, 600 bucks. It'll give you a damn good firearm, but it's, it's all on you. If you take care of your firearm, your firearm is going to last a very long time. I'm hoping to one day, if I ever have kids, hand this one down to my kids when they're older to actually be able to have guns. So let's go ahead and break this gun apart and let me show you what the pieces on the inside look like. So right here is your slide lock. On this one, it actually has it on both sides. So first, we lock it to the rear. Now let me see if I can get it on camera. If I can get it on camera, should be easy for everyone to see let me see okay all right right here this little lever you gotta push it forward so there all right that little that little lever right here you push it forward once you push it forward you're gonna come right here, pull this down. I always like to hold it, pull the slide a little bit back and just take the gun apart. So look at this. Now, if you couldn't see it too good on the video, let me show it to you right here. Okay. This little pin right here is the one that you push forward. So you see how it goes back? Once that little pin goes back, back here it lifts up and that's the lock if you want to take this gun apart this is what it looks like right there so all you do is you push it forward and by pushing it forward back here it slides down a little piece and that's what will allow you to take the gun apart safe what do i use to clean my gun regular lube there's a lot of great products in the market uh i'm not really too crazy about name brand stuff when I was in the military, we used CLP for everything. So I still use CLP today. 
I was happy with it back then. I'm happy with it now. Now let's check out the slide of the gun. Look at this. 14 years old. And look at the condition that it's in. Now, unfortunately, I have no idea what is up with the 40 caliber, if it's going to make a comeback or not. A lot of people love the 9mm. I love the 45, but my first caliber was the 40. So I'm looking forward to the day when this caliber starts getting a lot of popularity. And I'm looking at getting maybe two or three more 40s. Look at this. Very taken care of. I've done nothing else with this gun than treat it like I treat every other firearm. Let's take away, let's take the recoil spring out. Let's pull the barrel out and let's check it out. Look at the barrel. Look at the inside of the slide. Now keep in mind, I know that a lot of YouTubers, they have a lot of great information. I've seen many other channels of uh, firearm enthusiasts and they give out amazing information. And some people do really good reviews on guns. Some people do really good reviews and they will tell you that the gun is not really their favorite. But me personally, I've shot so many firearms that if I were to start being very picky, I'll probably be able to find little things here and there to complain about. But that's not the thing. The thing is, if you like the gun and you take care of the gun, even if you have a little thing here or there that is not really something that you would like, it's not gonna make the gun go from a good gun to a crappy gun. The only thing I've ever noticed about this gun is if you put three, 400 rounds through it and you do not clean it at all, when you fire the gun and it spits out and reloads, it actually becomes a little sluggish. It'll go like this, bah! And when you shoot, it slows down versus any other gun that when you shoot, they go quickly. And you shoot, they go quickly. When you put two, three, maybe 400 rounds through this, you might wanna give it a little clean. But even though when it shoots very dirty, it becomes a little sluggish, I've never had a hang fire, a misfire, a squib load, or anything with this gun to where it jams because of the carbon. Very great gun, I'm satisfied with it. As a matter of fact, I was so happy with my first Smith & Wesson that I have, I wanna say, let me see, one, two, three, four. Okay, four handguns from Smith & Wesson. I also have five, six, seven Glocks, four Smith & Wessons from the handguns. And then from the rifles, I have three AR-15s or MMP-15s. So I have a total of seven Smith & Wessons and same concept, I have seven Glocks. So I know that Smith & Wesson and Glock do go toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other, but I'm very satisfied with the gun. And am I gonna buy more Smith & Wessons in the future? Hell yeah. Am I gonna buy more Glock? Hell yeah. Even though a lot of people say Glock's the best, and I tend to be a little bit of a sellout. I used to be Smith & Wesson all the way, but I do like Glock. So even though some people will say Glock's the best, I would like to agree with them. And then some people say Smith & Wesson is the best. I also want to agree with them. And some people say HK is the best. And I also want to agree with them. I think they're all the best. I think every single gun in the market is coming out made really good and it's all gonna come down to ultimately how you're gonna treat your own gun so you see them all like that every single one of them is inside of a happy sock my 40 cal will go right here 